My name is Chris Cashman. I'm the president and CEO of Protez Pharmaceuticals. I grew up on a farm and by nature when you farm you're an entrepreneur. You are out there working the land, raising livestock, uh, growing that, finding markets for your products and really you're on your own. You know, there becomes that moment of truth in a family where you need to declare, are you going to stay with the operation or are you going to move on? And uh, I remember having that discussion with my father and I basically said, listen, I, I really don't think this is for me. He says, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because before you know what you want to do, you need to know what you don't want to do. And if you don't want to farm, I understand it, I, I accept it and it's time for you to, to move on middle of the 1980s, I had the good fortune of starting from scratch a business in diagnostics for food safety purposes. And that kind of really gave me the, the bug, so to speak, the spirit um, that to create something from, from scratch. Current company is Protest Pharmaceuticals. We created an enterprise, assets, people, opportunity that uh, Roughly four and a half, five years after we started the company, we sold it for $400 million. Our lead antibiotic potentially is going to be a tremendous product. It will really impact very favorably the lives of millions of people who suffer from serious infections. Just after we started the company on, in a sense, a wing and a prayer and a little bit of money, it was the biotechnology greenhouse in Ben Franklin that afforded Protez the early capital to enable this company to get off the ground. It happens to be the riskiest point of an enterprise because literally you're trying to build your asset base, hire your people and get the enterprise off the ground. So I will always feel uh, indebted to Ben Franklin for their early support. If you have the entrepreneur spirit, that's good. But businesses, opportunities require certain skill sets to be successful. And so, in certain respects, you need to pay your dues. You need to pay your dues potentially working for somebody else or working for an enterprise where you can get those experiences. I think all too often at a young age we go on somebody else's uh, advice or somebody else's opinion, and not that that's wrong. But at the end of the day, it's, it's what your evaluation yields and the amount of passion that that ignites that really can be the driving force of being successful.